Longbridge itself is probably in the top 20 uh, largest regeneration schemes in the country. To date, we've created up to 3,000 jobs. We've only actually developed about 10% of the site. So as the scheme goes forward, we're, we're very optimistic about the future. But actually, it's one of the schemes that is still being delivered in the UK at present. And it's probably the only one outside Birmingham city centre at the moment. We have an aspiration to get to 10,000 jobs. Now, a lot of people see that as a very, very big figure, but we think with the mix of uses, um, we'll be able to deliver near to that figure in the next 15 years. What we're trying to achieve here over the next 15, 20 years is deliver a sustainable community, both in terms of the infrastructure, uh, roads, etc., but also through uh, technology and the use of buildings. So once where there was a former factory employing over 6,000 people, we're now trying to create a new suburb, hopefully employing up to 10,000 people. I think the most iconic and the most talked about building uh, here at the moment is Bourneville College. Uh, the building itself is over 250,000 square feet. They have 3,500 students here every day and um, it's had a lot of interest and the young people like it. But the other building is, is the uh, youth centre, the factory. That's been a great success and that is the purple building close to the station and they have over 100 uh, young people using it every day. So uh, Longbridge is becoming iconic because of uh, the buildings that are already here.